Hi, and welcome to the Control-M short video on the differences between properties Control-M agent and agent parameters. My name is Zev Gross, and I'm the Principal Technical Support Analyst at BMC Software. The agenda for this video, one, define what is agent properties, two, compare how the agent properties are different from the agent parameters, three, review the feature changing agent properties on several agents at the same time. And four, summary of what we've covered in this video. Let's get started. What are the practical differences between agent properties and agent parameters? Agent properties define what an agent is and how to communicate to it within the enterprise. Parameters dictate how an agent behaves on the remote machine. Both can be modified through Configuration Manager. Edit Agent allow you to update agent properties and essential parameters. And Edit System Parameters allow you to modify all raw agent parameters as they appear in the config file. Agent Properties. Agent Properties are stored in Control-M Server and contain all the information that Control-M server needs to establish a connection to the agent. Definition of the agent represented through agent properties are divided into two categories, general and advanced. Let's see that in Control-M. In the Configuration Manager, here you see a list of agents. Double-clicking on the agents allow you to edit the properties. Here's the general tab. And advanced tab. In the general tab, you can define the host name of the remote machine, the port, SSL, TLS configuration, and tags. Agent name is a host name that resolves to a valid IP address. If you have more than one agent on the same remote host, then you can distinguish them by providing a colon followed by a port number. Agent name must be unique. When selecting to enable SSL, you have the option to use what is specified in the default settings of the agent properties table. Actually, default values can be applied to all the agent property settings. Using default agent property settings allow you to configure the default values once. And when changes are required for all agents, you can simply make the change once in the default settings, and it will impact all the agents defined in Control-M Server. For enabling SSL details, see the SSL guide. Enabling SSL without updating the certificates will use the demo self-signed certificate. We strongly recommend to create your own certificate and not to use the demo certificate. Tag is a way to label a group of agents. You can associate a tag to an agent or create any tag string and apply it to any agent. Tags are used by authorizations of Control-M to restrict an agent to certain set of access privileges. Agent Properties Advanced tab. Two lists related to agent properties are included in the Advanced tab. One covers the general communication properties, and the second one covers enabling persistent communication mode. Communication list includes check interval heartbeat checks between the server and the agent when the agent is in available status retry interval is a heartbeat that checks between the server and the agent when the agent is in unavailable status unavailability shout urgency when agent changes to unavailable status an alert to him is generated with specified urgency, regular, urgent, or critical. Timeout and retry parameters. Persistent connection. Enable disable persistent connection. Maximum disconnect time. When a server reaches a maximum limit of the number of open persistent connections, the agent with the oldest communication thread will lose the connection to the server and reconnect based on this interval. Session idle time. 
a connection is closed if there is no traffic on the line for a given amount of time. Allow agents to disconnect. When a maximum number of concurrent connections are reached, the agent with this check mark will become a candidate for closing the persistent connection. As mentioned previously, all agent properties assume default values that are defined through CTM menu and used when an agent is created or automatically discovered. Managing default values for agent properties. The default values of agent properties are defined with CTM menu, parameter customization, default parameters for communicating with agent platform. If agent properties value is not overwritten, then it assumes default value as shown here. If one changes the default value, then all agents that have not overwritten the default value will now assume the new parameter value is defined in this table. For example, if you want to modify the unavailability retry interval, then making one change from 90 to 60 seconds will impact all the agents. You can always go to any individual agent and modify the parameter value from the default and subsequently any changes to the default will have no effect on that agent. Now let's switch from agent properties and look at agent parameters. As mentioned, agent parameters determine how the agent behaves when it's fulfilling requests that are initiated by ControlM server or agent utilities. Click right on the agent and select system parameters. Parameters are divided into categories with the following columns. Name, category, type, which points to where the variable is stored, either in config.dat file, os.dat file, or remote host config file. Description, value, and default value. When the value is different from the default value, the line is shown in bold. The name of the parameters that are listed here are the same as they appear inside the config file. Using system parameter editor when selecting several agents allow one to synchronize parameter values across all selected agents. Use the control key to select several agents. Then select system parameters from the more menu. As you can see, the selected agents appear here. Items where default value is other than an A can be selected and synchronized across the selected agents. When you click Save, the changes are propagated to selected agents. In summary, Agent Properties defines the agent as far as what Control and Server sees and uses to communicate to it. Server maintains a default set of agent properties used when agent is discovered and where parameters are kept as default values. Changing default values changes the property on all the agents for properties that are not overwritten. Agent parameters defines the parameters how agent will behave on the remote machine. All the parameters are stored locally on the agent in either config.dat, os.dat, remote host config, as seen in the type column. You can change and synchronize parameters between different agents in one action by simply selecting one or more agents in the agent list view, and then selecting the system parameters from the More option in the ribbon menu. That concludes our presentation on the differences between agent properties and agent parameters. Thank you for watching. We'd greatly appreciate any feedback you have on this video.